Good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a great day. Listen, it is actually, I'm recording this Wednesday night and we had our 24 hour law enforcement outreach. I wanna give you an update on that. But first I want to um, read a verse and I wanna just say a few quick words about this. I've, I've been reading in Luke chapter 21, very, very interesting passage, of course, talking about the time of the great tribulation. And there's this verse here that every time I read it, it is like, what? It says this, um, there will be, this is verse 25. It says, there will be signs in the sun, in the moon, and in the stars, and on the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. That's crazy. So basically, this time of the tribulation is going to be so intense that even, you know, um, the signs in the sun and the moon, the stars, whatever this is, we're not even sure exactly what this is saying. But it says all of that and the sea and the waves, there's just going to be turmoil. We're talking about literal universal turmoil it's crazy and but this is the thing that i every time i read it it is surprising to me and i even wonder okay what are you talking about lord verse 26 says men's hearts failing them for fear and the expectation of those things which are coming on the earth for the power of the heaven the powers of the heavens will be shaken and it says after that, they'll see the Son of Man coming in a cloud and with great glory. Power and great glory. Sorry, I am i didn't sleep more than an hour last night because of the Law Enforcement Fellowship. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, so here's the thing. Whatever this means, the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Okay. I think there's, uh, that's a reference to some things that we see in the book of Revelation. But what it's saying here is that men on this earth, these are unbelieving people, are seeing basically something that everybody assumed to be unshakable shake. The powers of the heavens. This is like, this is beyond worst case scenario for any, any, this is literally, it sounds like the idea of the universe falling apart, the galaxy, right? Um, I don't even know. I, I read it and I have no idea how men are going to respond to this. It just says fear and expectation. They know something's happening. I don't know if you've ever been in this place that happened to us uh, about three months ago, maybe four months ago, where um, they they launched a rocket or something in the... Oh, no, I remember. Air Force One It was in the area. Anyways, um, there was two sonic booms that happened not by Air Force One, but probably fighter jets for whatever reason. And we didn't know what was going on. Of course, we're in Southern California, so we were wondering if that was, what was it? Was it an earthquake? What was coming, you know? And just those two things, hearing light fixtures rattling, you, it, it unsettles you because you're like, what, what was that? What's going on? And it was not a small sound right? It wasn't like a distance, boom, boom. It was, it was a low, um, extraordinary sound. Much less when men are seeing all of this, like the, the heavens and the earth, those seas, you know, the, the stars, the sun, the moon, all of these things. Literally when it says being shaken, it's indicating there's a greater power that's displacing things, you know. They have no idea. How are men going to respond to that? I don't know. 
I don't know, but as I read it, it shows you how intense that time is going to be, how intense it's going to be for those people that have rejected Christ, those people that are not following God, and also for those that are, it's going to be intense for the for the nation of Israel at this time. We know uh, they're going to be going through a lot of trouble. There's going to be a lot of intensity here. And even here, Jesus says, look, when you see these things, look up, lift your heads. He's saying, for those that are hearing my words, I understand it. Just know that when it gets to this point, when it gets this bad, uh, look up. And you know, this is one thing. Okay, this is kind of a side note. I just want to make real quick. When it starts getting bad, in, in any really bad situation, we need to remember to look up, right? We need to not only fixate on those things that are going wrong. Um, and I'm not saying pretend that everything's okay. I'm just saying we have to remember to refocus our attention also on the Lord and, and remind ourselves that he's still in control. So I'm reminded of that seeing here. That is the exact instruction that Jesus gives to people that are going through something that is completely unprecedented in in the history of humanity, right? Look up and just understand your, your salvation is drawing near. Now, the beautiful thing about this is we don't have to go through this because we know when we put our trust in the Lord, we're saved. And his children, right, he is going to pull us out the church is going to be pulled out before this. And um, that is an interesting, all of that is super interesting. Um, but we need to, we need to be mindful that this time is coming. And honestly, I don't think it's very far off. So whatever you're going through today, make sure you remember to look up. Okay, if it's getting bad, just understand the Lord's still with you. Don't, don't think that even if the, the heavens are being shaken out of their place, you need to remember that the Lord didn't say, hey, that's because you're going down with the ship. He said, that's because my salvation is coming. Now, quick update. We had our law enforcement outreach, and it was great. We had a, t a lot, I don't know, hundreds of police come and go through our church Um it started at Tuesday at 10 a.m. and went to Wednesday at 10 a.m. So if I sound kind of nasally and I look all tired and I'm not using uh, my speech is a little messed up, that's why I just didn't sleep hardly at all. And since I'm getting older, I don't recover from that so well. But man, it was good. It was it was a great time. And um, if you remember, continue to pray for uh, the police, especially wherever you're at. You know, what, whatever you can do to bless those guys, do it. Um, but here in Southern California, if you're in Southern California, man, our police are in a bad place. They are. They're just, they're having to deal with stuff that, that uh, some things, there's not even laws on the books to deal with it. They have, they have a very difficult job and it's being made more difficult by, um, some of these district attorneys and all of these different things that are going on. So remember to pray for these police. They're, they're, they're going through some difficult times. And many of these stations or many of the departments are short staffed. So that doesn't help, but we, we had a chance to bless them. And they, they, I, one thing that I heard repeatedly throughout that time was that not very many people showed them very much kindness so they're always in bad situations um so if you know when you get a chance to bless the police in your area make sure you do it okay anyways that's it hope you have a great day um happy thursday okay i had to think for a minute what day of the week it even was i'm gonna see you tomorrow god bless you and look up <laughs>